Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the mysteries of the universe and beyond. In this video, we will talk about Leviathan, a giant creature that lurks in the ocean's depths, according to the Old Testament. We will also discuss how this beast influenced the philosophy of Thomas Hobbes, one of the founders of modern political thought. Leviathan is a colossal marine dragon that was created by God on the fifth day of creation, along with the other sea creatures. He is described in detail in the book of Job, chapter 41, where God challenges Job to confront him. God says that Leviathan is the king of all the sons of pride, and that he is so fearsome that no one dares to provoke him. He says that no weapon can harm him, and that his scales are like iron and brass. He also says that Leviathan has a powerful blow that throws flashes of light, fire in his mouth and smoke in his nostrils, and that he creates massive waves when he moves. He asks Job if he can draw out Leviathan with a hook, or bind his tongue with a cord. He implies that only God can control Leviathan, and that he is a symbol of his power and majesty. Leviathan is also mentioned in other parts of the Old Testament, such as Psalms, Isaiah, and Amos. He is sometimes associated with other mythical creatures, such as Rahab, the sea monster, or Behemoth, the land beast. Some scholars believe that Leviathan is based on ancient Near Eastern legends of chaos dragons, such as Tiamat, Lawton, or Yam, that represented the forces of disorder and evil. Others suggest that Leviathan is a metaphor for historical enemies of Israel, such as Egypt, Babylon, or Assyria. Some also interpret Leviathan as a cosmic serpent that will be slain by God at the end of time, as part of the final judgment. Leviathan inspired the work of Thomas Hobbes, a 17th-century English philosopher who wrote about the nature of human society and government. Hobbes named his most famous book Leviathan, and used an image of a giant crown man holding a sword and a scepter, composed of many smaller people, as the frontispiece. Hobbes compares the state, or the commonwealth, with Leviathan, and argues that the state has absolute power over its subjects, in order to maintain peace and order. Hobbes believes that without the state, human life would be solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short, as people would be in a constant state of war with each other, driven by their natural passions of fear, greed, and glory. He calls this the state of nature, or the natural state of anarchy. He says that in order to escape this miserable condition, people must agree to give up their natural rights and liberties, and submit to a sovereign authority, either a monarch, an assembly, or a mixed form, that can protect them from harm and enforce the laws. He says that this is the social contract, or the covenant, that binds the people and the sovereign together. He says that the sovereign is like God, and that the people are like Job, who must obey and fear him, and not question his decisions. He says that the sovereign is the only source of justice, morality, and religion, and that he has the right to punish, reward, or censor his subjects as he sees fit. He says that the only limit to the sovereign's power is the natural law, which is the law of self-preservation, and that the only reason for the people to resist the sovereign is if he fails to protect their lives. Hobbes' Leviathan is considered one of the most influential and controversial works of political philosophy in history. It was written during the English Civil War, a period of turmoil and violence that challenged the traditional authority of the king and the church. Hobbes' views were seen as radical and dangerous by many of his contemporaries, who accused him of being an atheist, a tyrant, or a traitor. His book was banned, burned, and censored by various authorities, and he had to flee the country several times to avoid persecution. However, his book also had many admirers and followers, who praised him for his logic, clarity, and originality. His book influenced the development of modern concepts of sovereignty, human rights, democracy, and social contract theory. His book also inspired many other thinkers, writers, and artists, who used Leviathan as a metaphor, a symbol, or a reference for their own works. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest uploads. We will see you in the next episode of Celestial Chronicles, where we will talk about another fascinating topic from the realms of mythology, philosophy, and science. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.